Coming up next on the show today, we have an award-winning entrepreneur and founder of Jewel Eye Global Productions with their signature rum punch, Ms. Anita Witten. Ms. Anita Witter. Thank you for having me. Thank you're you. welcome, you're welcome. And I'm glad you're welcoming me into your world. I mm. mean, um, the taste of sunshine in a bottle. Absolutely. I think what I should have had was a beach in the background or something like that, <laughs> you know? You know? Um, because, and think about that, we're in Jamaica on the beach. Isn't that's it? right, that's <laughs> right, that's right. And although I know you're not going to taste it now because you've got to get home and you need yes, to be, yes. remain level-headed. Yes, yes. Um, the whole thing of saying the taste of sunshine in a bottle is the fact that you taste it, you mm. will feel as if there's a, you're in the, on a beach anyway. Yes, yes, mm. yes. And I, I, I do recall um, the, the last one I had was uh, I, I messaged you and said, how long will it stay for? Because I didn't want to just absorb everything at the that's same right, time. That's right, that's right. I didn't hear from you, but I kept drinking and kept drinking <laughs> <laughs> until we spoke and I said, man, it was awesome. But listen, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. I, I believe it's very important that um, I be a supporter of um, you know, our people mm -hmm. and what we do as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I know you for the years, That's um, right. Anita, and uh, I always say you need to come on the show, but then I have to say, let's make it happen. That's right, you absolutely. Um, Rum Punch is something like, uh, it's next to a staple in the Caribbean, isn't it? It is, it certainly is, yeah. yeah it's, 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 um, it's our alternative to champagne, mm. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now, let's go to a look at history. Um, what, you previously worked at Coca-Cola oh, for, right. for 16 years mm -hmm. in the publican restaurant of business with your family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, where's the vision and the dream that um, did you conspire or whatever like that to create this product? Um, I think I think what it was, it, it really came from the fact that first, I think it's to do with the the DNA, yes. the, the, the business, the business um, entrepreneurship in my in my blood. Yes. Um, just a little, give you a little background. I was born here, and by the time I was three, I I had three heart failures. Yes. So the doctors recommended to my to my parents that they I should go home. Um, you know, as in find a tropical country, because I'm, I'm not going to live in this country, born wow. asthmatic. Wow. So my father, at four to six years of age, um, took me to Jamaica. Mm. Um, my mother remained here, and she emigrated to Canada. But my father went home, and he, in the short space, he came in the late 50s, but the short space of time he was here, yeah. he took the concept of pub yes. to Jamaica. And um, in, in, so I can remember him having the first pub concept, the Rose and Crown on Waltham Park Road okay. in Kingston. And then he opened another one in Spanish Town Road and, and one nearer to home, one at home where yeah. he um, refurbished the house. And one side was the pub called The First Step. And, and we lived at the other side. So. My father, my father had me in there from young, from the years, from the age of 15, I was learning, you know, how to mix rum punches, yes. learn how to, to cook jerk like, pork like and shadow. all this sort. I absolutely <laughs> was. Yeah. And apart from that, he, um, he looked after people's houses. He was what you'd call the typical estate agent yes. here. Um, there and then he also would buy and sell oranges. We mm. would travel to Clarendon and buy oranges and back it, you know, bag it up and sell it. So um, it very much a fact that I believe that um, business was in the blood. Yes. My mother emigrated to Canada and became property owners yes. and became selling food, cooking food, selling food. Mm. So I believe. So what happened was at Coca Cola, I was actually striving to climb. Um, you know, I wanted to be the HR manager, um, but, but when I went in, um, I was one of those advocates. I, I'm a principal person, you know, mm. so I went in and I became a shop steward. Yes. And I would fight for people's rights. You were a disruptor. <laughs> you want to call it, you want to call it that. And then, um, but I also wanted a little bit more. So I went into HR 
I then had to um, relinquish my position as a, as, as a, as a, um, a shop steward. And then I, I went into HR. But then all of a sudden I began to get this tug in my spirit. Why am I here? Um, going into HR also, I actually saw where HR was in control of people's lives. Mm. I saw people come in and, you know, they would give them targets to meet. And if they can't meet the targets, they would lose their positions. They would yeah. lose their jobs. Yes. Um, you know, and I thought, no, 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 no. I need to be in control of my own future. Yes, yes. So um, I began to explore my own future. Yes. What am I here about um, and stuff. And, and then I, I began to look and recognize that looking back at my family history, yes. that we're probably late starters. Yes. You know, my father is in his 46 year, my mm. mom in her, in, her, in her 40s as well. So I decided when to- When they started off. When they started in off in, business. In, 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 into business. Yes. Um, so I thought, well, okay, what can I do? And I thought, well, okay, um, love to cook. I could probably do um, restaurants. And I thought, well, but you know what? I don't want, I don't just want the normal takeaway shubby yes. and I would want something um, of real class. Yes. And I didn't have any money to start anything of, of, of class. So I began to, I began to explore God because mm. I'm a woman of faith. And um, one day I was praying and I'm hearing what's in your hand, what's in your yes, house, yeah, yes, yes. you know, what are you good at? And I'm thinking, dung, I do rum punches quite well. Mm, mm. And I re remember people would say, boy, this rum punch is wicked and this rum punch is really, really nice. So, um, but then I, I was having, I was having clashes in my head because it was like old school. Come on, Anita, mm. rum, mm. church, what are you doing? You, you, you can't do this. But I, um, I decided to explore it. Yeah. Um, I decided to explore it. And um, I actually went to my boss, the director uh, at the time, and I said to them, listen, this is what I would love to do. And he said, well, what do you need? Mm. And it's Coca-Cola. At Coca-Cola, Coca yeah. what do you need? And at that particular time, the gentleman concerned, I know would have invested, but it would have been a conflict of interest. In those days, they're not allowed to go into anything else apart from what they're employed to yes. do. So, um, yeah, and because the thing is, in starting this business, there were a lot of conflict going on in my head. Yes. It was like, you can't do manufacturing. Manufacturing is a man world, is mm. a man's world. And then you're going into rum. Mm. Um, rum. <laughs> yeah, you're going into rum. You can't, you, you can't do this. And, um, but anyway, um, I began to explore. I began to call around business places, research into bottles, research into yes. all of this. And um, it was hard. It was hard because, you know, people didn't want to know you as a small person if you're not able to buy pallets of bottles yes. and, and all of that. So hence why I went, to, um, I went to my boss and, you know, he gave me everything that I needed to start mm. the business. And, um, yeah, this is how Jewel Isle, Jewel Isle was started. Yes, yes. Now... It started off again with just the tropical because we know tropical, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, I began to start to go around to, you know, the, the ethnic minority pubs yeah. and stuff. And they would say to me, don't you do other flavors? And I'm thinking, what are these people talking about other flavors? Yeah, yeah. There's no other flavors. Then rum punch, rum there's punch. just the tropical. Yeah. And immediately I began to see red, green, and gold, mm. the traffic lights. And I thought, well, okay, let's look at exploring that. And I, um, I went to bed and I know this sounds really, really odd, but I, I you know me, I'm just real. Yeah. I, I went to bed one, one night and in the hours of the morning, I began to see the ingredients for pineapple ginger. Mm. And I got up and I made pineapple ginger. Mm. Now, can I tell you something? Please. I'm not a drinker. I am absolutely not a drinker. 
um, they used to say, give her one, she's mine, give her two, she's anybody's. Mm. I really, I've just never acquired the taste of alcohol. Don't know if it's because I grew up in the, in the bar, mm. you know, and just saw how, when people, how happy they get, you know. But I just never liked the alcohol. So yes. I had to use my children and other people to taste it, to taste it and, and tell Do, me. Have you ever tasted it? I have, okay. I have, but I've tasted, I've yeah. tasted it without the rum. Yes, yes, I've yes. tasted it because without the rum, it's a, it's a, you know, it is also a beautiful yeah, drink. Rum, yes. um, it is because, and, and I found this out when I went to, I did Ideal Home, you know, Ideal Home, I, oh my God. When you're going to test the market and you're going to do Ideal Home, mm. you are really taking on big guns because... Mm. One, it's, it's, it's about, it's, I think if I remember correctly, it's about 26 days. Mm. You have a wide range of audience and customers that yes. come. And, um, and what I found is that a lot of people like it. They compare it to Bacardi Breeze in those mm. days. Mm. But what I find, if, if, if someone tastes the red yes. and they don't like it, and then they taste the pineapple and they don't like it, you then realize they don't like the rum. And when you get them to taste the non-alcoholic, they go, ah, we love this. Mm. So they would buy the non-alcoholic and they go home and they would mix their Bacardi with it or their vodka they, they, with it. Yes, yes. Y you know what I mean? So I recognize that the key really wasn't the rum. The key is the blend of how we blend our juices. Right. Mm. So, so clarify, you mentioned that at Ideal Home, um, they, they went to the red mm -hmm. and they felt it was... Mm, they went to the other one, they said, mm -hmm. mm, but they like the natural. Yes, they, they so, like it. So do you do natural one as well? I do, I ah. do, but I do to order. You do to order? I do to order, order. That's what yes, because, clarify, yes. Yes, because um, we try to keep, keep as, as, as real and as authentic as, as, authentic as yeah. possible. So we don't like to use a lot of preser preservative. Mm. With the rum punches, the rum also add as a preservative. But with the fruit punches, you're really looking, because it's made it, natural juice, fruit juices and stuff like that. Yes. You're looking like milk. Right. You're looking at shelf life of milk. Right. Um, I, I found what you mentioned something uh, about the, the, the taste of the rum because you're so much around people. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just want to drop in my local experience is I used to work with this chocolate company in Jamaica called Highgate Food Products, mm -hmm. Candyman Jamaica. And the body from Africa, she old 63 Africa, she my number. Claude Clark was the um, owner. And I used to work in the warehouse mm -hmm. as a stock clerk. And man, chocolates every day. Right now, to this day, I don't eat much chocolate. Yeah. I can't eat too much chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> they might have a little small bit yeah. of chocolate. Yeah. So I understand clearly what you mentioned about mm -hmm. um, maybe too much of that. I, I want to talk about this bit here, mm -hmm. late starters. Yes, yes. Because today, and any show I have, I always try to make sure that there's a, um, a teaching moment. The late starters, many people um, are sometimes wondering they're at this point in their life, and I can believe where you're at, whereby you start to say, I'm uneasy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm bored. There's something. And then you make that move. And many people now, I believe, are suffering in jobs which they're not happy with. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I never knock nine to five because I believe it serves its purpose. It does. But it then there's a time, sometimes it goes over into diminishing return. What are some of the key signals? that late starters need to, or persons want to move out or step out? <laughs> well, can I, can I, can I say something? Um, one of the things that I heard a pastor say one time, and it really knocked me. Yes. He said, the cemetery is a very rich place. Yes. Because so many people have had dreams and visions that they never ever acted out on and they've died, they've died with that vision. Yes. Now, um, as a, with late starting, there, there, there has to be certain things that really edge you yes. on. Yes. Um, what got to, what for me, it was about a legacy mm. um, for my children. Yes. My father left me a legacy, even in just the things that he, he taught me. Yes. And he taught me as well that the world is my oyster. Mm. It was so important for, for him that I read everything, I watched the news, mm. I need to be up in speed. Yes. And um, for me, it was about the children, um, what can I leave them? Yes. 
And the whole truth about it, I mean, come to the point, it might be a fact that they might not want to know about mm. it um, and stuff. But um, what was in my head at the time was that too many times, all we tend to leave is the house. Mm. And the house that we leave, the, the family fight about it and it gets sold off yes. and whatever. But you want something that leaves with your name. Now, mm. it's never too late. Never it's too late. never too late yes. to start. Yes. Um, I, I think, I, especially as when you call yourself a late starter, there's a lot more wisdom in you. Yes. There's a lot more maturity in you. There's a lot more patience in you. Mm. So I don't be ever believe it's ever too late. Mm. Um, I think that when you get the urge and the budge, now hear this. When, I, when this came to me, I still struggled because yes. I was thinking that, I don't really think this is what I want to be doing. So I went away, got a couple of friends, and I went away, and we really prayed about this. Yes. And what came was that, listen, this is not about you getting rich and sitting down. This is about you giving back. Yes. Giving back. And when we prayed and we prayed and we prayed, and it was the thing that came out of this is that, from your profits, when you reach into that stage, yes. you go into the African nation and sponsor um, wells mm. for children. Mm. And to go into the Caribbean country, you'll start with Jamaica. And you'll, you'll go to schools and ask the teachers to identify gifted children yes. and sponsor their education. Because there's so many gifted children that are not able to go to school yes. because of, of situations. Yes, yes. And not necessarily to remain in Kingston because you came, you grew up mm. in Kingston, but to tackle parishes throughout. And I tell you the truth, mm. it's, been, it's been hard. I mean, you know, to, to, um, to be bold, to yes. be bold to give up your position, a comfortable nine to five, salary and go into where you're dependent on yourself yes you've you, you've really got to have balls of steel yes. steel balls yeah yes. um but this is what has kept me from not walking away from this business is the fact that it's bigger than myself bigger the than goal yourself. yes and the purpose is beyond me so it's not just making ram punch no. get people to um, have a nice time there's a bigger purpose behind it's it. a bigger purpose because the thing is, right, um, one, of the things, um, one of the things that I recognize, I, I have an organization called Octan, One Child Touching a Nation. Octan. Yeah. Octan. And that came, that came from um, a separation I had mm -hmm. in my relationship and seeing the devastation it had on my son and recognizing that we don't stay together much for children and understanding that when you kill a child dream you're killing a nation because yes. it starts with a child yes. so um so this is how you know i could understand where i got the vision that we're water the staff of life if you can sponsor wells in, yes. in the african country that they can even have water yes because even if even if they you you give them a a seed to sow yes. in vegetation, they need water. Yes. You know, it's a staff of life. If we're, even you and I, if you know we're fasting, we need mm. water. Yes. You know what I mean? And education, I mean, oh my God. I mean, when you go to Jamaica, what I admire so much about the children in Jamaica, mm. education is key. Education is key, yes. yes. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a quick break. And after the break, a question I'm going to put to Miss Witter is how does she balance being in the church and drinking rum? I'll see you back shortly.
We are an incredible entrepreneurial generation, but often we lack support and a firm foundation. Let's make a change. Let's build brands with deep roots. You've already done the hard part. You started. Now all you need is momentum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And I've got Miss Anita with her here from Jewel Isle Rum Punch. Anita, thank mm -hmm. you so much for, for staying and um, didn't go off drinking off the rum <laughs> as well. The question I want to ask you is this. Mm -hmm. um, um, as a Christian and active in the church, uh, w what do people say or what do, do people say because of having rum punch? Right. And, you know? Well, I had to, I had to get over that hurdle as well, even to, even to make it, even to, to go into the, the master blend of this rum punch. Yes. And um, what I recognize, I, I mean, I, I look through the Bible mm. and clearly to be drunk, to drink is not a sin. Mm. To be drunk mm. is a sin. Everything in moderation, yes. everything. You can, you can overeat. Yes, and gluttony, isn't it? And gluttony, mm. you, you know what I mean? So everything. So. I was able um, to, to become comfortable with that. Now, I also recognize that, you know, um, we talk about water turn into wine. Yes. You, you know, the truth is, when water you- Water turn into rum? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the first miracle yes. that Jesus did. Mm. And, and we, could, we could sit here and argue and say it was a non-alcoholic wine mm. or whatever, but I, I had the privilege of, of, of going to Israel and we partook in their Passover. Yes. Honestly, <coughs> their wine is 17%. And if you remember, there's a bit in the Bible where the Lord, where, where Jesus actually scolded the Pharisees and the scribes because they were drunk with wine. Mm. So it, it shows you that wine drinking is... Is, there's nothing wrong with, yes. with, with rum. There's nothing wrong with alcohol. It's just what you do and abuse it. Yes. Now, saying this and saying that, my rum punch is only offers 7% ABV mm -hmm. because I also do believe in responsible drinking. Yes. So I don't overkill it with rum. If you choose to top a little bit more rum in there, then that's fine. I just give you a nice blend yes. that even allows a woman sometime who, you know, the stigma of a rum drinker, yes, yes. you know, can, can, can drink it and, and, feel, and feel okay. What, what is the normal, um, I, can say this, I can say the 7%, mm -hmm. what's the no, what is the other typical? Um, Normally when you're looking at rum, uh, okay, the rum that it's made from is a 63% yes. ABV. That doctor. That's like Dr. Renevio. Dr. J. Dr. J. Dr. J. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you mm. must you you must know. And um, if I remember correctly, when Sugar Ray was around, yeah, Ray, yeah. yeah, that was about that was about forty forty odd. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, a lot of people drink this, and they say it's just right. It's mellow, but the thing is, it, it's a creeper. Right. It really is. So She's you can. Be careful. You have got to be careful. <laughs> so yes. like when I said, I just feel like it's not that bad and I'm drinking. I could just drink. I'm you, yeah, you could, you could actually get up out of your bed and find that you just drop back in the bed oh, because wow. it, it just hits you, you know, oh, so yeah. I want to check that out to see if it works actually. <laughs> <laughs> now, in, in, in helping, in, in promoting this business as well, mm -hmm. you, you had the two successful new flavors, the lemon lime, the pineapp pineapple ginger, mm -hmm. alongside the standard one. I know you mentioned that when people were asking, you realized that, but was there a point where, well, it was a risk, wasn't it? It's, it's, everything has it's been a really, risk, wasn't it? It really was, but you know why? Because in, in everything that I do, yes. I really seek God in all honesty. Right, right, right. I really do. So I, I, I take my guidance, my guidance that way. Because even again with the, with the lemon lime, that, um, that didn't come until probably about three or four days before the official launch, mm. I, I then got the insight of how I should do the lemon lime. So with the distribution now, mm -hmm. um, how do you go about with it, the distribution? Is it just targeting towards the Afro-Caribbean community? 
Um, yeah, that's where, that's where it started. That's where it started. Um, that's where it started because I tell you why. If you want the truth, yes. you, have to start, you have to start with those who will tell you the truth. Yes. yes. Um, but um, the, the aim is to really get it out to the, to the wider community. I tell you why. What I do find with my, with my, own, with my own ethnic minorities, yes. they can make their own punch. So, yes. you know, they don't, they, don't, um, they don't pat you on the shoulder for saying, well, you know, it's well done, you've, you've bottled it, you've created new flavors. It's more like, well, you know, we can make our own yeah, and yeah, da 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 yeah, da and yeah. stuff. Meanwhile, when I go into anywhere where there are more Caucasians, wow. Mm. they really receive it a lot more, you know, and, and they, don't, they don't try to fight you with your pricing, you know, and yeah. all of that. They yeah, I really, mean, you're being they, real. I mean, yeah, I, I they, not, they embrace and, it. And they're not thinking about, uh, because I, I went to an event where I saw you last in Brixton, whereby I saw a few other rum punch mm -hmm. there at the mm -hmm. same time, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in practical terms, sometimes, you know, competition is competition, but sometimes you wonder, wouldn't it be great if everyone just support one in a way to reach it to a, a certain level because okay when i started my show all of a sudden lots of people started on the show i mm -hmm. must i must say this is a plug um, um I'm, I'm releasing this particular show on my 24th i was wow i was going to say the 24th anniversary <laughs> of the show wow that's great my daughter will be doing the show at that time because uh -huh. she, keep, she keeps saying i'm on the silver show that's my daughter yeah okay. but uh the fourth year of the show um is um it's released today congratulations be the 24th man. of march the mm -hmm. fourth year and even when I started the show, I see a few other persons just started right after, you know. But someone said to me once, and my wife said, it's your wisdom, at least you're inspiring them. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And, I, and I, think, I think the whole thing about it is that if you continue to strive for excellence, yes. and if you continue, I remember when I started the Rum Punches, I remember many people would say to me, I'm hoping that when you become large, yes. you will never ever, you know, water down your product or mm. not remain authentic. Yes. And, um, and that for me is where I remain. It, it, it has to remain authentic. Yeah. authentic. I, and you're right, because sometimes when things get big, people start to say, uh, it's not that great again. There's mm -hmm. something missing. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. And then yeah. another thing comes up with the real thing again and start to go on, you know. And the cut, what they call the cutting corners, if exactly, anything, you know? exactly. So, exactly. So, so, if anybody want to get hold of Jewel Isle Rum Punch, mm -hmm. where do they go to um, to get it? Well, they can go on on the website. Yes, um, I put the address details. Yeah. Yes, the, you can go on the website. I I like to interact with people. Yes. So yes. you know, my phone number is there, um, and we 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 tr we deliver. We we try to deliver personally. Yes. We we travel all over yes. to deliver personally so um and we're, we're looking to you know we're asking people if you know anywhere that you think should stop this great product yes. um you know let them um you know just just give a plug yeah. um i'm willing to um my thought process for this summer is that anybody give us an opening mm -hmm. um and stuff we're quite happy to let them have some complimentary rum punch yes. as as a um as an inventory, um, you know, for giving yeah. us an invitation into into their into their place. Yeah, but if you do that, they're gonna keep drinking and and, all, and get drunk. Well, <laughs> I I, tot I totally agree, but you've got to give an incentive. Yeah, yeah, you've got to yeah, give an yeah. incentive. Yeah. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, you, you ever heard what um, Ms. Witter said? It's important that we um, support each other and uh, support our products because at the same time, it is empowering each other. And one of the key things which he has said so far is that it also is towards children education as well and to empower. Absolutely. You Absolutely. Know? Empower. Mm. Now the other bit about now this is in the UK now. Is it in Jamaica? No, it's not. And we need um, to get it in Jamaica. <laughs> get it into Australia. Yeah, yeah and you, into it Ocho. does. It really needs to. And and yeah. you know, um when um do you remember when um you'd see Anthony Johnson was here? Yes. Um, he actually absolutely loved this product, and he he sent me um, via Jampro on mm -hmm. a on a fact finding exploration um, in Jamaica to, to to get this product there. Um, there are a few hurdles. There are a few mm -hmm. hurdles to to cross, but yes, it, it definitely needs to be there. Yeah. Right. Let's go into this bit here now. Mm -hmm. Your fate. 
mm -hmm. you know? Has your faith helped you persevere and navigate entrepreneurship with its many ups and downs? Because you mentioned, and I recall, as well as making some notes here, there are times, you know, you leave that security of Coca-Cola and you go into the, the wider, uncharted waters mm -hmm. in a way, mm -hmm. you know? What kept you at those moments? You're right, my faith. Yes. My faith. I have, um, I really have a childlike faith. Yes. Um, you know, you, you realize that if you, you believe that if it's, if God is in it, yes. um, you, you trust that he, he should take you through it. Yes. Um, so that is where that came from. I, I've had, I've had some, I've had some, I've had some, some traumas. Mm. Um, but I, I truly believe, I, I truly believe that if you really, really trust God, if, yes. you, if you really trust God, he will, t he will take you through. Yes. So, um, yes, it was, it was, a, a lot of people was kind of, wow, you're yeah. joking. Are you, are you going to, and, and, and I said, yes, I am going yes. to. Um, and, and, and that is it. I, I pray. Mm. I pray a lot. I have a lot of dialogues with God. Yes, yes, yes. I have a lot of dialogues with God. But the other thing, the other thing, what you do as well, because um, you, you you make a lot of commentary. You you um, not that controversial, but you have commentary which you talk a lot about mm -hmm. um, things in society. Uh, without going to that, I just wanted to tap into one. You know, Brexit. Yes. You're a business owner. You know. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Are, are you into Europe? Is this into Europe? No, I have people who yeah. actually buys and take it in right. okay. via Eurostar. Yeah. Mm. What do you think are the benefits or the negative impact you could foresee with Brexit uncertainty that is currently going on? And I use that in the context of not just the typical confusion which is going on in the House of Commons, but business people mm -hmm. tend to think about their business when mm -hmm. they think about Brexit. You know, persons who are getting married to someone overseas, think about that in context of Brexit. Mm -hmm. uh, um, lawyers think about it in the context of Brexit. Everybody have their personal touch. Racist person, think about that in a certain way. But as a business person with a long vision, how do you see the uncertainty of Brexit in your business? Um, I, tell you, I tell you what, I, I truly believe that um, if you've got a product, mm. if you've got a product, you will, you will um, you will find ways and means how to, how to carry on yes. with, with, with your product. Um, if I should speak about Jewel Isle, um, because Jewel Isle is, is mainly centered in, in the UK yes. at the moment, um, I don't foresee any problems. Mm. Um, and because my ingredients actually comes in from the Caribbean, from Jamaica, yes. um, I, I, don't see, I, I don't see a problem, I don't see a problem yes. there. Um, if the truth be known, um, and I'll be totally honest with you, I believe Brexit is something that is already foreseen mm. and foretold. Yes. It's like when somebody said earlier today, um, it is already done. It's just going through a locomotion now. Absolutely. It's anything like that. Absolutely. Yeah, you, know, you know, I always think that uncharted waters um, bring, uh, bring new opportunities. And as the Bible says, no, not the Bible says, but Christians will say, new levels bring new devils. That's sometime. right. That's but right. of course, you're not going to get the challenge unless you're going up. You know? Ab absolutely. You know? absolutely. And one of the things which you said earlier, which I made a note of, you said, what is in your hands? Mm -hmm. Now, use that to inspire even uh, uh, someone who wants to go into business. Oh, I don't have the money. I don't have this. I don't have that. S if, elaborate on this bit. What is in your hands? What are you good at? Yeah. What are you good at? Mm. Um, there is there is a gift in everybody. Yes. I, I'm telling you, it's a matter of tapping in to that unique gifting. Yes. And and let it become your sustainer. Yes. Um, and too many times, um, and and there's you know there's there's nothing wrong in being employed. You know, I remember back home. My, my mom used to say, if everybody should ride horse, who will yeah. open the gate? Open, yeah. You understand? Yeah. So definitely there has to be a situation where you, um, where at some point you need to start off as an, as an, um, an employee. Mm -hmm. But my thing is that when I look around and I see 
how many suffering sometimes as well that employees are being handled. I want to be a good employer. Mm. I want to be in that position where I can employ people and treat them, mm. treat them with respect and love and treat them right. Yes. But, um, you know, I believe that everybody has mm. a unique gift. And sometimes, yes, you might not have the money. But listen, in my days mm. when I started, well, I don't know if, the, if it was there, I started in 2005, mm. there was no crowdfunding. Mm. There was no crowdfunding. Um, and stuff. No, you have crowdfunding as long as you're able to give a good argument, a good reason why, you know, this product is is, is needed. Um, there's money. There's money that, you know, uh, what we had in our mm. days was the GLA. I think yeah. it was yeah. the GLA. But um, and and but we struggled. You, you had to to climb a lot of hoops and yes. and you know to to get any money out of them. And then we had the business links and yes. all of that. And and most of the the, the advisors didn't even know what they're doing. Yes, yes. Um, and stuff. So, but whatever you have, I believe you can you can turn something out of it. Wow. I saw um yesterday on the television where this woman was busking. Um, I didn't even know you had to get a license to busk, yes, and yes. she was busking, and she and a, 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 one of those directors, musical directors or whatever, actually was passing in a hurry, dropped mm. off his card and came back, mm. and now she's making albums. So yeah. you never know where your opportunity, yeah. where your opportunity rise. Now, I see you looking at looking because I know we're we're wrapping up in yeah. time. Can I just bring back something, please, regarding the Brexit? The Bible tells us to pray for our leaders. Yes. And, um, you know, I, I look at um, Theresa May and I'm saying to myself, this is, this is going to finish you by the time you're done. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. But I admire her strength. And I have to say, at times I'm saying, is this about a woman? Is it the fact that it's a woman? Are you, you, you know, you're fighting the female thing. Yes. Or it's about... Man's but I just, want, I just want to say, yeah. we ought to pray for our leaders. It doesn't yes. matter who is in power. And, and, we ought to pray. And, and that is so correct as well. And I just... The point which you mentioned about a man's world, and she's in this so-called man's world. Uh, I was remembering when they were sort of rude to her in Europe, mm -hmm. in Brussels. And I saw a picture yesterday, a video, and I just videotape it whereby one of the key guys was reaching out to touch her. And I believe people are praying for her. I think there's something's going to happen. But I want to do this as well. I wasn't wrapping up. I wanted to get into my point. Okay. You know? <laughs> and when you mentioned a bit about what's in your hand, there's something that happens. Because I'm, use, I'm using this program as a celebratory program for the four years of the Silver and Show. I, I want to say this, and this is very important. When I started the show, uh, one of the things I was looking for is many different things. Looking for chairs, looking for that, looking for the name of the show. And, uh, and I got this strong word, this strong impression. What is in your hands, literally. Wow. I was saying, what is in your hands? Wow. The red chairs that you're sitting on was in my garage well, three <laughs> years before. <laughs> because my wife was working at a company and they were shutting down. And they were giving away everything. We went and collected a few things. I said, let me keep the chairs. It may be needed sometimes. I was going around looking for chairs. Looking at Helen's show, looking at Steve Harvey's show, looking for shit show. Then it hit me. There are three chairs, three red chairs in the garage. Wrapped up wow. in this cellophane sort of thing. Wow, wow. I was trying to find the name mm -hmm. of the show. Flip the script. Pushed in the boundaries was the name I wanted for it. I bought the website, everything. But the Lord said to me, the Silburn Show. Aye, your name. That's right. And I'm saying, that's right. wow. And I called a couple of my colleagues at that time where I started off with, where I was trying to decide. I said, yeah, Silburn, Steve Harvey, Oprah. I said, yeah. Mm. What is in your hands? Uh, I needed to find people to come and work with me. They're expensive, so what? I, I, I close into friends. Mm -hmm. I said, All right, you're the director, you're the producer. They never done nothing like this before. And we just studied everything. What is in your hands, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? What is in your yeah. hands? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's coming out in my yeah. book soon, one day. You know? Yeah. So it, it, what you said there just resonated so much about, and it is something that people need to resonate with. And, and true. And if you remember, there's a particular story in, in, in the Bible yes. where, um, 
this lady, um, this lady was suffering. She had no more money. Yes. I think the last thing she was contemplating on doing was selling her son yes. into slavery. And the prophet came through. Elijah or Elijah. That's one right. Of them, yes. And he said, um, what is in your hand? What is in your house? Mm. And she says, just a jar of oil. And she said, and he said to her, go and borrow jars from your neighbors. Mm. Yeah, go and borrow jars from your neighbors. And she came back with the jars and he blessed this one jar of oil mm. and it managed to fill all the other jars. And the Bible says, this is key thing that mm. I picked up on. The Bible says, and when there was no more jar, the, the oil ceased. And then he said mm. to her, go and sell the oil and pay off your debts mm. and live. Now, key thing here, when there were no more jars, the oil ceased. Wow. And I say, my thing is, keep your jar open. Keep a spare jar. Yes. Keep your mental, you know. Facet, yeah. Yes, keep, keep, because you know, Jewel Isle, when I, when I started mm. Jewel Isle as well, and I heard the word, Jewel Isle Global Productions Limited. Mm. Productions Limited, why? And he said, because it's going to be an umbrella for many things. Yes. yes. You understand? So that's my jar. That's yes. the empty jar. That's yes. empty jar that's there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Holy Ghost show. You know what I mean? For those <laughs> who understand, you know what I'm saying? What can I say? Now, Anita, um, this is just part one of the shows that we're going to have. Yeah. What's your final word or any sort of mantra that you have to say to people or things that keep you? At those times whereby it's challenging you know sometimes there's a word that you 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 feed on you you live on you you, you trust the lord on or a proverb i st I'm, I'm sorry it still has to be faith yes i really really have faith yes. um i believe i believe faith is the currency that's used in yes. heaven yes you know you know sometimes we you know for church you know, come and bring this amount of money and come and bring that amount of money. Yes. And you and I know, no, it's not about, about the amount of money. Yes. It's the faith behind that money. I am such a strong believer yes. um, and have faith that it doesn't matter what the situation is. Yes. I believe you can overcome. I believe there's a destiny. I believe yes. there's a purpose. I believe there's a call on your life. Yes. And I believe that if you, if you tap into that, I believe that you've got to, you've got to surround yourself with, with, with good people, yes. with good people. But the key thing, you've got to be forgiven. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that. Now, I just got an idea. And this is the first time I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a game with Annie Tota. She hasn't been told about this. Oh, my god! But gosh. today, this is what she's going to do. We're going to go and see. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to um, send in a message as to who won and we'll send you uh, somehow, I'm promising this, one of your choice. Anita, you're going to sell this product to the people, <laughs> and I'm going to sell it to the people as well. Okay. And then we're going to ask them, Owen, you go first. Oh. And that's your camera. Right. Jewel Isle Rum Punch. Um, absolutely send warmth in the cold season send cold in the warm season it is absolutely the product the must have it's the champagne to be on your table too many times we have these taste bad champagnes these champagne this rum punch is authentic it it serves the true thing of what we hear about in Jamaica and know about in Jamaica. So, Joel Isle Rum Punch, it's the best one. Awesome. And now, I'm sure you'll do better because you drink it. <laughs> Joel Isle Rum Punch. Party people in the place to be. My name is Cedar when you listen to me. This is the Rum Punch, the tropical Rum Punch, as you can see. You got very various colors, as you can see, which is the lemon and lime. Next, you got the ginger, apple, pineapple, pineapple ginger, yeah, sorrel, rum punch, and you've got the same one again, 
But I tell you, before you go, you got to get one to make sure and don't go to bed drinking it because you might get up and go back again. So check it out. Jewel Album Punch, ladies and gentlemen. Have it today and forever. Thank you. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's for you to decide. But whatever you say, you still get a bottle, but a bottle of uh, rum punch. Um, and we'll ask one of our key um, person, which is Miss Anita Witter. She will decide, and we'll get you a bottle of rum punch. How does that sound? That's absolutely fantastic. Good. Fantastic. Mm. Now, any last word and, and any sort of um, what you want to say? Um, um, I just, I, I, I really just want to encourage people mm -hmm. um, simply, especially for the vision, you know, yes. the fact that we want to educate children and yes. we want to, to sponsor wells, that they should support their own. Yes. You know, um, they should support their own. It's a, it's a, it's a great product. Yes. Um, you know, and I am the original. Original. The original. Legal pie pie, as I was Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Go tea, front tea, don't go Absolutely. Go <laughs> well, mm. ladies and gentlemen, um, you have heard Miss Witter and um, you have seen the rum punch and uh, this is a promotional show as well. There are always key things with any business person, any great person of leadership or business, the Richard Branson's, the, um, all of them. There's this thing called purpose and she had the purpose. She also had the word, the word which is crucial. And she used this word each time, faith. The substance, substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith. One has got to have faith to go into business because it's about risk, right? And therefore, there are many persons out there who are questioning as, again, how do I start? Do I need this? Do I need that? One thing Ms. Switter said, stop and question what is it that you have in your hands? That resonates with me. It also resonates with her, right? What is it that you have in your hand? Start to think about it. Think about that very part. What is it that you have in your hand? And from that, you actually find that actually you have everything to start. And mm -hmm. then you operate with faith, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And then whether it's a man's world or whatever world, forget about that. It is God's world, you know? God is in charge of everything. We talked about Brexit as well, and what came out of it is that, listen, when things are done, it's already done. Yes. Sometimes we're going through a motion, and because I, I didn't drink, just because I dropped this, no, I didn't drink, <laughs> you know, but it may happen tonight because I'm going to take one of these, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much, and have a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silburn Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comments, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.